Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you everything that I eat this week on Slim and World, again like I did last week. You're going to be missing two whole days from this week's video because I just decided that I didn't want to follow plan. It wasn't that I just decided that I didn't just think, oh I'm just going to have a couple of days off plan. I've been feeling really crappy this week, this past week about Thursday. I think it started on Thursday. I just started feeling like really achy and sore in that while I was at work and tired and then it was the same on Friday and I just got to work on Friday. Everybody actually went for breakfast. I usually have my breakfast on me and I did have my breakfast on me. I did take my breakfast all me, all with me. I had all good intentions to it and then they were just like, are you coming to get a coffee or something? And I was like, uh, yeah, okay, I'll come and get a coffee. And then I got to Starbucks and they had their pumpkin spice lattes and I was like, ooh, I could really go with a pumpkin spice latte right now. I looked it up on the app, I can't remember what the sins were, but I actually couldn't find it on the app without cream um, because I was going to have one without cream and then I just thought, oh God, this is so flipping annoying. I just got really irritated with the app. I was like, you know what? I didn't say screw it, I said the F word. I'm just going to have a day off. I want to keep saying it, but I'm not going to say it. Um, I just thought, get off. I just couldn't be bothered. So I had the pumpkin spice latte and then on the way back, the girls went into Greg's and that and they got their rolls and stuff. Because you can get coffee at Greg's, but it's not great. So we us they usually go to Starbucks or Costa or something like that. I was just in there with them and before I knew it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a slice sausage roll because I really, really fancied a slice sausage roll. So I had my slice sausage roll and my pumpkin spice latte, which is so flipping good. I didn't have anything for lunch. And then I just thought, hey, in for a penny, in for a pound. I got a text from Domino's that day telling me that pizzas were, I think they were like eight pound for a small, 10 pound for a medium and 12 pound for a large one. I was like, oh yes, I am in for that deal. So I ordered a pizza, a Domino's, I like the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's. I got a large one. My idea was that me and Ali would share this pizza, but um, I messaged Ali and he was like, oh, I didn't want a pizza. I didn't really fancy a pizza the night. Can I not just go and get a chippy or something? Because he was out with his friends. So oh, I did not just order a large pizza. I also ordered the twisted dough balls and cookies as well and Ali and I were going to share all that but then he was like no I don't want a pizza I want to go and get something with my friends and that at the chippy so I gave him I put money in his bank so he can go and get something for his friends with his friends Um, I did not eat all the pizza myself I ate a good few slices I ate some of the not all at once as well like it was like spread throughout the night I think I started off with my twisted dough balls actually, the cheese twisted dough balls because I'm so happy they have them back. They've not had them for like two years because of the pandemic. I don't know why the pandemic stopped them making twisted dough balls but anyway uh, I had some of them and then later on I started on my pizza, I had a couple of slices and then I think I had another slice because I did order it pretty early because I hadn't had a lunch and then on Saturday I'd already planned to have one meal off plan and that's because I was going to my dad's. Now I usually go to my dad's for dinner at the weekend but Ali and I went to see Thor at the cinema and because it's like coming to the end of its run the only time we could go and see it was 11 in the morning it was like a little quarter past 11 or something it was the cinema beside my dad's so we ended up just going to my dad's for lunch and we had like a burger roll with some a little bit of salad and halloumi fries but I didn't have any breakfast on the way to my dad's I did pick up another pumpkin spice latte because I thought well if I'm going to have another day off plan I may as well have another pumpkin spice latte. I didn't eat that morning. I had my pumpkin spice latte. I had my lunch at my dad's, which was delicious. Also, it was pretty healthy because she made turkey burgers, homemade turkey burgers. Really, really delicious, actually. Then for dinner, I just thought, oh, we'll just have some toast and cheese or something like that. Um, because I was really craving toast and cheese. But then I remembered I still had some of my pizza left. Obviously, I had, actually, I think I had over half my pizza left. By the way, I did not eat the cookies and all the twisted dough balls. Ali did help me eat those. Um, I think I had one cookie and between Friday and Saturday, Ali ate the rest, the other three cookies and he did help me with the cheese twists as well. Yeah, I thought, I'm just, I'll am just, i just have my pizza for my dinner, the rest of my pizza. And so on the way back, we got Ali some, I think we popped into a Sainsbury's and picked him up a, a katsu curry or something, like a oven, 
like a ready meal type thing because he says he doesn't like the cheeseburger pizza well not that he doesn't like it it's just, it's just not his favourite he fan he didn't want it he wanted something else so I got him a chicken katsu curry thing yeah so I just had my pizza the rest of my pizza heated that up and that was me I was off plan for two whole days I did not binge eat or anything like that I just was feeling really run down my energy was at an all time low and I just thought Pfft. I cannot be bothered with this today. That was on Friday. On Saturday I knew I was going to be have one meal off plan, but because I'd been off plan on the Friday, I thought, we'll just keep going, we'll finish up. Anyway, that brings us to today, which is Sunday, and I am going to get right back on plan. So I'll show you what I'm eating. Also, this week at work, I think this was also maybe what was going on in my head and that as well, which I'd, I have been feeling crap the last couple of days. I still actually feel pretty crappy. Um, I don't feel too hungry or anything today, but I still feel like I want comfort food. I'm on holiday from work this week. I asked my boss for a couple of days off, like a long weekend, so I could decorate my hallway and my downstairs bathroom. And she's ended up giving me a week off because we've got so many holidays that we have to take by December and I've still got quite a lot of holiday left. Yes, yeah, so she gave me a surprise week off work, which was lovely. And I think that just... I just went into holiday mode on Friday, plus feeling really crappy and run down. I wasn't getting great sleeps last night. I was really, really achy. Um, I don't know if it was just the change in weather or something. Sometimes I can feel the change in weather with the rain that we've had the last over the weekend and that. Anyway, I'm not making excuses. I'm just trying to explain where my head was at. I don't feel that I need to make excuses for having days off plan. I can have a day off plan if I want to because I'm a grown ass woman. And also let you guys know, because I keep getting praised for how well I'm doing and I'm so focused and everything like that. I am, I, for the majority of the time I am, but then there's days and times that happen, like at Friday, where I don't want to be on plan. And uh, just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just blethering now anyway. So let's go on with showing you guys what I'm going to eat for the next five days. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. So I haven't had any breakfast today and for lunch I'm having a packet of the Bachelor's low-fat char-grilled steak super noodles, which are two cents for the whole pack. And then I'm also having a bowl of the honeydew melon, which is a speed food. So lunch today is a total of two sins. And for dinner tonight, we're having the absolute culinary delight of cheesy beanos. I've got two slices of the Neville's wholemeal bread, which is my healthy extra bee for the day. I've got some beans, which are sin free. And then on top of both slices, between the two slices of bread, I've got 50 grams of the Tesco reduced fat cheddar. I think it's 50% reduced fat cheddar, which is one of my healthy extra A choices for the day. And then I've topped it with some Worcester sauce, as per suggested by my loving son, Ali, which is sin free. So tonight's dinner is actually completely sin free, plus my healthy extra B, plus one of my healthy extra A's. And Ali's having the exact same as me, he's just got full fat cheese. And with my after dinner coffee tonight, I'm having a Viscount biscuit, which is three and a half sins. And that brings my total sins for today to five and a half sins. Plus, I used both my healthy extra A's and my healthy extra B. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> so, Mark and I were up super early this morning. We had to take Holly to the vet and then I went down to B&Q to get some paint samples and then I also done some shopping for bits and bobs and while we were out we picked up a Starbucks so I got a tall skinny latte which is actually a small one it's not actually tall it's five cents for that and then I also had to add sugar to it because they, I don't like the sweetener that they have in Starbucks or any coffee shop for that matter so it's two cents for the sugar. So seven cents in total for my Starbucks this morning. For lunch today, I'm having a ham and mushroom omelette. The ham is sin free, the mushroom is speed. The eggs are sin free. And then I've got some extra roasted tomatoes on the side for speed. And then I've also got a tablespoon of the, is it Bramwell, the Aldi range of salad cream the reduced fat salad cream that's one and a half cent for a tablespoon 
So lunch today is a total of one and a half sins. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make some slow cooked minestrone soup and I thought I'd share the recipe with you guys. I found this recipe, which I will link it down below. I found it, tried it and I loved it when I was vegetarian a few months ago. And I've adopted it ever so slightly just to be more slim and world friendly. So to start off with, I need one fennel bulb, three carrots, one red onion, three garlic cloves, two litres of vegetable stock, a tin of chopped tomatoes and a tin of burlotti beans. The recipe does have celery in it, but I won't eat the devil's food. But if you'll eat the devil's food, you can put the celery in if you want. So I'll start off by peeling and finely dicing all my veg. And then I saute them all in a frying pan with some fry light. In all honesty, I probably normally would not do this part. I'd probably skip it. But because I had the omelette for lunch and the pan was already dirty and I needed to wash it, I thought, why the hell not do this stage? But usually, I'd just put it all straight in the slow cooker. Which is exactly what I do after I saute them all for a few minutes until they're softened. I also add the burlotti beans, the chopped tomatoes and the vegetable stock. And I switch the slow cooker to low and cook the soup for about 6 hours. 30 minutes towards the end of cooking I add 145 grams of this soup pasta. It's little stars. and I give it a good stir. And then 10 minutes to the end, I add 160 grams of kale. And here's the soup already. So the soup itself on its own is completely sin free and you can have it like that if you want, which I may do for lunches and that, but because I'm having this as a dinner today, I've kind of went how the main recipe suggests you serve it. In the recipe you're actually meant to mix the parmesan right through the whole of the soup and then top some extra on at the end as well while you serve it. But I've not mixed any parmesan through the soup as you will have seen. And I've just added one tablespoon, one level tablespoon of parmesan on top which is one sun. Um, I just find if you're not mixing it through, you're not having to count sins or healthy extra air or anything. It's completely sin free if you don't add the parmesan. So it's one sin for the parmesan and then it also suggests to top it with some pesto. So I've added one tablespoon of the lighter pesto, just a little jar, and that's one and a half sin. Um, it also says to add basil leaves, but I've only got Thai basil leaves. I'm not quite sure if they'll go and the pesto's enough basil in that. Um, so for the soup itself, it's two and a half sins now, adding the basil and the pesto. And then I've got a Warburton's wholemeal roll on the side, that's my healthy extra beef for the day. And I've also got half a tea, no, a teaspoon of flora lighter on each one, which is half a sin. So that's one sin for that. So three and a half sins in total for tonight's dinner. And Ali's going to have exactly the same, he's just out with his friends at the minute. So I'll plate his up when he comes in. I am also going to have a pudding tonight because I'm not at work this week and I'm not getting all my fruit in the morning which is when I normally would eat it for breakfast. I thought I would try and have it for dessert if I can't manage it in the mornings when I'm at home. Um, so I've got some melon in there, just whatever was left and then I've got a load of blueberries and then I've got one of the Danone light and free blueberry yogurts. I don't know if I've tried the blueberry one before but it looks very purple. Um, and that is half a sin, so half a sin for pudding tonight. So it's now Tuesday and for breakfast this morning I'm just having some fruit and yoghurt. I've got blueberries and blackberries in the bowl for speed and then I've got one of the blueberry yoghurts which, which is half a sin. I've got a banana as well and I'm having a coffee using a little bit of my healthy extra A for the day. 
And for lunch today, I'm having a cheese and ham toasty. No, it's not a proper toasty. It's just one slice of bread and I melted the cheese and that under the grill. The cheese has slid off a bit into the middle. It was at the side of more. And I've got obviously got some Worcester sauce on that. I'm using 25 grams of the Tesco 50% reduced fat cheddar, which is only three sins. I need to remember that the Tesco reduced fat cheddar is actually probably one of the better ones. Um, you get 50 grams for a healthy extra aid, but I don't need that much. I mean, I used 50 grams between two slices the other day. Um, this is the, what do you call it, is it Bramwell's or whatever, the Village Bakery from Aldi wholemeal bread. You get one slice of that for a healthy extra B. That's Aldi smoked ham as well. That's completely sin free. And then three sins for the cheese. And then I'm also having a packet of the cheese and onion palm bear on the side. And that is three and a half sins. Thank you, Nala. You're right on time. Right again. <laughs> three and a half sins for the palm bear. Because it's the, is it 13 gram bag that I'm, I have? Uh, so it's six and a half sins in total for lunch today. Tonight for dinner we're having this Nando's Peri Peri Bag and Bake. It's the paprika and lime flavour. It's two and a half sins for the full packet and I'm having it between three of us so I've divided it. It's one sin. I've just rounded it up to one sin per portion. Um, this is just one chicken breast. I've just halved it so it wasn't too thick because it was quite a thick one. Um, so it's one sin for the chicken. I've got kale which is speed roasted tomatoes which is speed and then I've just made some homemade wedges which is sin free. I've also got three and a half sins worth which is a tablespoon of the Crucial's garlic mayo. So in total it's four and a half sins for dinner tonight. So that's my one. Obviously that's Mark's because he doesn't have the veg. And that's Ali's. He's having the exact same as me. It's now a little bit later. It's like half past nine. I'm in my bed. I'm looking after my little girl. Holly! Psst, psst, psst. Holly! I think she's seen a spider or a fly or something, daddy long legs or something because she's just been staring intently over in that corner for a while. Anyway, I'm feeling a little bit peckish so I'm going to have a skinny dream rocky road. This is three sins or you can actually have two for a healthy extra bee but I've already had mine for the day so I'm just having one. Just fancy a little sweet treat. Um, oh. Poor baby. Um, yeah, so I can't, I don't know how many sins. Is that 11 and a half sins I am at for in total for today, maybe? Um, I can't remember. My brain's dead now. So it's about 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning and I'm just about to have some brunch. So I'm having a sliced sausage roll or square sausage. I've got one Warburton's wholemeal roll, which is my healthy extra bee for the day. On that, I've got one slice of Aldi's skinny beef lawn, which is one and a half sin. I've also got one tablespoon of HP sauce for one sin. And then with that, I'm going to have a bowl of raspberries, which are speed. And I've got one strawberry light and free yogurt, which is one sin. I think I made a mistake in my shopping haul and said this was only half a sin. The blueberry ones are half a sin, but the strawberry ones are one sin. So my brunch today is three and a half sins in total, plus my healthy extra B. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to make some pho, which is a request from Ali. He's been asking me to make it for a little while now. I thought I'd share the recipe with you guys if you guys are interested in making this. So to make the broth, I'm using two litres of chicken stock. You could also use beef or veg stock. I'm adding one tablespoon of brown sugar, which are the only sins in this. So it's three sins for one tablespoon. I'm adding one onion, four garlic cloves, two cinnamon sticks, two cardamom pods, a piece of ginger, one tablespoon of whole coriander seeds and two tablespoons of fish sauce. So I start by peeling and halving the onion. And then I also peel the ginger and cut that into four pieces. And then I char them in a pan together. And while that's going on, I toast the rest of the dry seasonings plus the garlic for a few minutes in a stock pot.
I then add the chicken stock, the brown sugar, the fish sauce and the charred onion and ginger to the toasted spices. And then I bring that to the boil, pop the lid on and simmer it for about 30 minutes. While that's simmering, I get the toppings ready for the pho. I chop one red onion, a few spring onions and some coriander and Thai basil. I also boil some rice noodles as per packet instructions but you don't see that. When the broth is ready, I drain that to get rid of all the chunks of onion and ginger and all the seasonings, the coriander seeds, etc. And then it's time to plate up. So I'll start by adding the noodles in first. I then add some raw bean sprouts to the dish. The broth, the hot broth, will cook them a little bit. I also add some pre-cooked chicken breast. I just cooked this in the oven with some salt and pepper and soy sauce and then I sliced it up when it was cooked and I top it with the broth. Probably about three to four ladlefuls. And then I finish it off by adding all the toppings that I prepared earlier. And this is it all ready to serve. In total, this is three quarters of a cent per portion. I've got two portions plated up and another two portions of the broth left for another time. And the only sins were for the brown sugar, like I said earlier on. This is absolutely banging. Ali and I both really loved it. And we also did eat it with chopsticks and a spoon, obviously, for the broth. So it's now Thursday and this is the first meal that I'm eating today. And it's our evening meal or tea or dinner, whatever you want to call it. I've been painting the hallway today and I've just got by on copious amounts of coffee and Red Bull. I've not really been feeling hungry, probably because of all the coffee and Red Bull. But I've just got on with the painting and that. But this afternoon when I had a little coffee break, I got some dinner on the go in the slow cooker. So tonight I've made some slow cooked peanut chicken. It's a new recipe I found. I think it was on the Feed Your Family for £20 a week page on Facebook. I've tried it already and it's fabulous, so I'll write out the recipe in the description box below for you guys, since I didn't do a video about it. This could make between four to six portions, depending on the portion sizes. I've split mine into four portions because I'm obviously hungry now because I've not eaten all day, and so our portion sizes are slightly larger. So for our portions tonight, each portion is five cents. And that is for the peanut butter that I've used in the dish and the corn flour. I'm serving that with some plain boiled rice, which is sin free. And then I've got 80 grams of the Sainsbury's barbecue cauliflower bites, which is two cents. By the way, these are now on the app. It comes up two and a half cents for 100 grams on the app. So my dinner tonight is seven cents in total. Thank you so much for watching this week's video everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it if you did, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.